what is the next step for sequestrography? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting how uh, disciplines evolve. Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like any any type of evolution. It's, it's punctuated. So we, we, we go gradually upward, and then suddenly there's a big jump, and then it, it continues to, to, to uh, go upward in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, the discipline itself. But what happens is that you get these punctuated jumps. Or, you know, it's not a smooth evolution of the science, but what happens is you get a new form of data that causes those big jumps. So in the case of sequence stratigraphy, the, the, it really began with seismic stratigraphy. It began with the availability of really the first tool that could continuously image the substrate, which was seismic data. Before then, it was outcrop that, that may or may not have been continuous, uh, outcrop where, where perspective matters, where you know, sometimes you get uh, ravines and gullies that make it difficult to really definitively walk out timelines. But with seismic data, for the first time, we were able to see stratigraphic architecture, and that is what propelled stratigraphy to a new level. And I, I can still remember taking stratigraphy as an undergraduate. It was my least favorite course, because at the time, stratigraphy meant memorizing all of these age and stage names and all, the, all of that stuff, which, which is just not interesting. Um, I, I've always felt that, that it's way more useful to understand than to memorize. So, but anyway, sequence stratigraphy, uh, where is it going now? Well, I, I think with the advent of seismic geomorphology, we've been able to raise the, raise the bar significantly. Because when you're, do, when you're engaged in, in interpretation of seismic data, and especially now where we have 3D uh, so, so uh, widespread, uh, stratigraphy involves just the analysis of section views, where uh, you know, stratigraphy being the study of the layering of the rocks, we can look at the section views, we can see stratigraphic architecture, but the uncertainty with respect to what it is we're looking at is still quite high. However, when you see the plan view, is when you get the geomorphological picture. When, when you integrate that with the stratigraphy, we can again cause a, a quantum jump in our understanding of this particular discipline. And so uh, when we talk about sequence stratigraphy, which is based on, on, on recognizing the, 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 which is essentially the evolution of, of basin fill architecture, it's, it's significantly helped by our ability to not only predict but describe exactly what the what the, uh, the the evolution of the fill of a basin is, and now we can do that with with greater certainty because we can see, for example, channels, for example, mass transport deposits, for example, uh, carbonate buildups, and we can we can pull them apart. Now, admittedly, uh, uh, seismic resolution is not as 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 fine as what you get in the in in, uh, in outcrop or in core. However, we can nonetheless uh, uh, make significant uh, observations that will elevate our 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 stratigraphic framework. But this is something that you have already been doing for at least 10, 15 years. It is. It is, and it, and it's 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 something that that was originally the domain of industry. But with, in recent years, more and more data has become available to the academic community. And I think this is where, uh, this is where the science really moves forward, where, when it's in the hands of many more people, it being data uh, of this kind. And I think now, with, with the academic community jumping in, uh, with not only can they access uh, uh, 3D data now more readily, but the software and the hardware is also within reach of academics. So I think, at least in the near term, uh, we're going to see, uh, we, we, we should see a refinement of stratigraphic principles. And as we know, with, with any discipline, the devil is in the details. And now the details are becoming more widely known. Uh, for example, in, in sequence stratigraphy, we used to, 
we, we, made, we made numerous assumptions that may, that overall are reasonable, but in detail are not. For example, uh, the synchronicity of surfaces. You know, in, in, uh, we know, you know, we assumed that certain surfaces were reasonably synchronous, but we know that's not the case in detail. And uh, those refinements are, are, are constantly being made. The only concern I've got is, is if, we, if we go too far, we forget that uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a case of getting too close to the trees. And if you get too close to, 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 and into too much detail, you're, you're, you're in the weeds, you're, you're, you're not seeing the bigger picture. And yes, many of these services are not synchronous, and you can, but if you start obsessing on the lack of synchronicity, you lose the bigger picture. And the bigger, bigger picture has value to us.